we all know that image classification is a very important task in GIS. So, today we will discuss about the process of image classification in QGIS. At first, we have to know that how do we classify an image and what type of image we do use. We all know that we do use Landsat image or least three or least four image for our purpose. Landsat that is freely available and least three that, that is freely available but least four if you if you use that is uh, that you have to purchase. So show uh, when we are classifying an image at first in QGIS software we have to install one plugin that is semi automatic classification plugin where from you install it just go to plugin then manage and install plugin and here you will just type semi that already installed okay semi automatic classification plugin just install it as it is installed in my laptop so it is going to be installed okay i'm just closing it so after the installation of semi automatic classification plugin that will appear in your menu bar that is scp scp menu bar okay. and that is the semi automatic classification plugin that row shows semi automatic classification plugin so when we are classifying an image at first we have to open the band today we will use least three images for image classification just open that band you want to classify i am opening my band which i want to classify just i am going to new image nrsc i am going new image nrsc and this one and here you will see band 2 band 3 band 4 and band 5 four bands in these three images just open that four band now you will see four bands have been opened and you will see here the bands are not sequentially ordered you may sequentially arrange these bands here and if you don't do that please then you have to arrange this in scp menu and then go to bands here you will also arrange the data okay i'm just selecting that and just then click on add band to band say which one which is this? you have to add to four bands in two band set by later we will define the bands okay so i'm just clicking after selecting the bands, just click on that plus sign. Now you will see the bands are not ordered sequentially. We have to order the bands sequentially. That is very much important in image classification. You have to arrange the images sequentially. I'm just moving it up to three. That is four. Two, three, four, five that have been sequentially arranged. Then you have to set the wavelengths of the band. Just drop the box and you will see here there are three options. Okay. A star, GOI, Landsat 8, OLI. When you are using Landsat 8, OLI data, then you have to select OLI. When you are using Landsat 7, ATM plus data, then you have to select the band. When you are using Landsat 45 PM, then you have to select Landsat 45 PM and other. Here, there is no option for list 3. So, you have to select the band order. Okay. You have to select the band order. And you have to just check create raster of band set and create virtual raster of band set. If you want, you may do it, but by there are another option or many, many other options for yes. Okay. I'm just selecting that option. And then after selecting that, just click on run. It needs some folder where you want to save. Not names. 
I want to save it in my folder that is new NRSPB. That is the folder I'm creating. That it will take some seconds. Now you will see. I am just copying it. You will see an image has appeared. Okay, that is false color composite, not standard composite. Only false color composite. I have to make it standard composite. Just right click on it. Go to properties and then red band three, green band and two, and blue band and one. Three, two, one. That is the sequence for list three. And if you are using Landsat ETM Plus, that will be four, three, two. Okay. I am selecting the enhancement the stage to min max and min for standard division. We just load it. We make it apply and okay. Okay. So the false color composite will be active. That is standard false color composite. So standard after this standard false color composite, you have to classify the image. Okay, that is the very first step for image classification. You have to make standard FCC for image classification. Okay. Now after Standard FCC. After the preparation of standard FCC, we have to classify that standard by class. We all know that blue color or black color here will be water bodies. Deep red with granular coat will be vegetation cover. That pink color will be agricultural land, and this one greenish to Somehow, bluish that are current sand and this bluish color or the white color that are beta pigment. So, we have to classify that. Now, removing all of them as there is no important to remove. That is the false color composite, or that is the band strip. Now we have to classify this. So, what for classification? You have to open the semi automatic classification doc. Semi automatic classification doc. Just click here, and that will appear as semi automatic classification file. Then, what to do? Then you have to select the image which one you want to classify. So here yeah, the image will be just refresh the button and see that is the image I have made it before. That is the FCC first color composite. Okay. After selecting the image, then you have to go to create a new training input. Create a new training input. Just save it. To one save. Save me, just give one name train and save. Now you will see the training input will be saved. So at first input the image of the standard false color composite image or the band stack image. Then just save or create a new training input and just save it in your drive folder. Then go to classification doc. Okay, classification doc. Here we will identify some training. Here just see here there are rivers or water bodies, there are vegetation cover, there are data area, there are agricultural land, and there are current time also. So there are five classes. So we have to classify the image in five. How do we classify the image? Here you see ROI signature list and ROI creation in classification. ROI creation here, EMC ID that is 
मैक्रो प्लस आइडियल टू बी और फर्स्ट मैक्रो प्लस विल बी यार डिजिटेशन कवर ओके शो एमसीआईडी विल बी वन एंड इनफो दैट विल बी डिजिटेशन डिजिटेशन नाउ सी आईडी क्लास आईडी द सेम दैट इज वन आल्सो एंड इनफो विल बी डिजिटेशन डिजिटेशन ओके शो मैक्रो क्लास आईडी वन इनफॉरमेशन विल बी डिजिटेशन सी आईडी विल बी वन and see into will be digital these are same now we have to collect sample from the whole image random and the training inputs will be selected very carefully we have to collect the training inputs uh, minimum 34 bits better accuracy and there i am showing that but just you will see samples for each class okay so first zone the vegetation cover you all know the red color ground also in the vegetation cover so just after zooming just go here create ry polygon select the vegetation cover then just click on calculate signature so the one signature have been collected now we have to collect Second signature I am collecting from here. Second signature from here. Just select the ROI polygon, then collect the second signature and calculate signature. And also we have to collect another signature. So just collect from here also. Deep vegetation, dense vegetation. So I am collecting from here also. So just calculate. I have collected three signatures. Then we have to merge these three signatures for average signature. Just select these three and then just go here. See the symbol? Merge highlighted spectral signatures obtaining the average signature. Click here, then just click yes. Okay, so merged vegetation have been created. Then just select the first three signatures which have to be deleted there is no need of that as the average signatures have been created just delete it okay so the one macro class have been created then see info class there are three classes and that is merged vegetation okay just click here and just delete the merged so vegetation have been created the class for vegetation now we have to collect second class second class will be here water bodies so macro class will be one okay so macro class first macro class one that is for vegetation so macro class two for water bodies water bodies she info will be one for water bodies that is water bodies How much we have to collect data? Minimum 30. Here I am showing just collecting 3 data. Okay. So I am collecting one from here. Just click on calculate signature. I am collecting also from here. From that is the deep or water deep. Calculate signature. Then we have to collect third sample. Third sample I am collecting. Three samples for water have been collected. Then we have to merge these three samples. Just select and then merge the highlighted signature. And after merging, delete these three signatures which have no need. So water bodies, macro class 2 for water bodies have been created. Now we have to create third macro class. Third macro class will be for settlement or delta area. So macro class ID will be 3, CID will be 1. That is still 
टा पे गया तो यू ए इंटर पे गया इन इसी से बी यू ए नाउ वी हैव टू कलेक्ट सिग्नेचर्स फॉर बी टा पे गया दैट इज बी टा पे गया नंबर वन Number three, so three samples have been collected. Now we have to select that and merge. When the merge has been completed, then you have to delete. One, two, three. Just click here and finish. B U A delete the area. Now we have to select the fourth class. Fourth class for agricultural land that is only pink. Fourth class macro class ID will be four. CID will be one. And NC NC will be agriculture. Agriculture. That is four. Agricultural land. That is agricultural land. Only pink. That is agricultural land. So one signatures have been collected. Second signatures from here I am collecting. Second signatures so from here. Second signature has been collected. Third signature from here I am collecting. Third signature. So three signatures have been collected for agriculture. Then we have to match these three signatures. One, two, three. Just match. Select samples and select it from here. Number one, and also from here, those are samples. Okay, so number two have been collected, and this is also a sample. So three samples have been collected for parallel. Then we have to match these three samples. Select one, two, three. Then match the signatures. So after merging, just delete, which are not needed. Now we have to set the color for these classes. There are five classes: one for vegetation, second for water body, third for vegetable area, fourth for agriculture, and fifth for current land. Vegetation will be shown as by green. Water bodies by blue. Vegetable area by 
Rich Agriculture by YOLO and Current Fellow by Ash or Brown. Now, after selecting the classification group or after creating the ROI, then we have to go to macro part. So, at first we have to input the SPP input for what to input into the image. Then you have to create and signature. Then you have to create ROI region of interest. Then you have to go to macro classes. And here you have to assign the classes which will be shown in your classified image. So vegetation that will be green, water bodies that will be blue, vegetal area that will be red, agriculture that will be yellow, and current value that will be ash. Okay, so five color has been. Then you have to go to classification algorithm. In classification algorithm, you have to select macro class ID, MCID, just check it. Then go to maximum likelihood. There are many options. You can select each one. Here I am using maximum likelihood and I am using threshold as G. Then just go to classification. Go to our classification. If you want to know or generate classification report, then you just select it. Here there is no need, so I am just making the classification. If you want to see the preview, but which one you have been classified, then you just go here and just select that class one. Activate classification preview pointer. Just see, I am selecting that and clicking now. You will see the classified image. Okay. The classified image. Okay, I'm just if I put here, you will see here there are also the classified images. If I click here, there are also the classified so I am running the just running it. I'm just saving it in new image or saving a name or value. Supervised classification is sent. And wait, watch it. It will take some time. The algorithm is running. Okay. Go to layer panel. And just click off. Then you go options. Okay. Now you will see the classified image. So YOLO that will be agricultural land. Red that will be vegetal area, blue that will be water bodies, and this ash color that will be what that will be current. So we have to generate the output. So after the creation of supervised classification, we have to make the output. And what how we have make the output the same process go to project then go to print composer okay new print composer give one name make it okay then just select add new map and drag it down I'm dragging it the map is here I'm just dragging it in the left and we have to make the scale here select the scale bar but it's too long so um, decreasing the segment section and also the height that will be the scale if you want to just 
Ja. So scale is there and we have to add the legend. So just here go to the legend option, add legend, okay, drag it down. So that is the legend and there is no need to supervise the application. Just click off auto update, click on supervise the application, go to this and just remove it and made it okay. okay. And we are also no need of unclassified just select it and go to okay. and here yeah, there is no need for one two three four five so just click it make it okay make it okay That will be the legend, and you have to <coughs> add the ID. So just click text and just write down. Supervise classification and whatever you want to write down. I'm just going to click on supervise classification font. I'm increasing the font size for screen and. supervised classification and you need the grid so I just go to grid ok then just drop this that is solid ok and here is you have to change the here is and just create a 6 to 5 and just I am seeing if I click to and just there is Make it five. Okay. I am changing the picture. I will go to left side. So it has been created and then just go to print and clicking this button and decreasing the just select draw coordinate that is degree millisecond. You will do your whatever you want. So I'm not, I'm just making the font size. So that is supervised classification of some images and legion. So that is the scale. So your work has been done. And if you want to make it as PDF or JPEG, just go here. That is the JPEG export as image. Select here, and I'm selecting this desktop. I'm giving one down. Saving in 300 GB. Clicking here, minimizing that, and you will see supervised classification here. That is supervised classification. So here and if you want to give the source then you just go down here text click here then the source source will be source will be this string that is called a uh, suppose Oh, 
you see to complete it. And this you just leave it and to minimize this and open for the start of the video, you can see that is the heading, that is the legend, that is the scale, and that is the scale. So we have really done the supervised class education. So thank you very much. Do it very. Really.